Hey yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video and as you guys can see We've picked up the new pink diamond Morris Peterson So if you guys are excited and wondering what Morris Peterson is gonna be like make sure you guys hit that like button down below as well as comment What you guys think as we get on throughout the video if you guys want to check out any other gameplays that we have today We have the galaxy opal Billy Owens galaxy opal Darren Williams and pink diamond Jared Jackson jr All linked in the description down below so have a great time and make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new nearly at 8.9k subscribers and on that road to 10k so it's gorgeous so the reason that morris peterson is an absolute god and why i'm super excited to use them is because that 2k 17 token reward diamond was an absolute beast um it's gonna be fun now sadly back then morris peterson was a six foot nine shooting guard and they have made him shorter now to a six foot seven shooting guard which is honestly so perfectly fine if we're being real but he also is a seven foot wingspan and he is notorious for getting a bunch of buckets dropped on him like with Jalen Rose by Kobe. So, you know, go Morris Peterson. Gave Kobe that 81 point game. I appreciate you. So the great thing about Morris Peterson is that he's going to be a demon of a shooter and still has some pretty good defense along with his just really good size at the two. Like you can see 94 mid range and 97 three point shot he has an 85 driving dunk, which is awesome can speed boost as well and actually does have some decent animations they're not amazing but they're definitely not too bad the defense pretty solid 78 block 79 interior and an 88 steal as well as a perimeter decent rebounding and really good speed to ball and acceleration again probably gonna throw on a gold shoe um like i usually do with the lowest people ball cards just to make them a little bit quicker while we're out there and a 26 hall of fame badges which are gonna be great but there was one thing he has jump shot 14 which is the uh isaiah thomas and i guess Morris Peterson, like the both Isaiah Thomas's jumper and Morris Peterson jumper on very quick um, is going to be interesting. But for 26 Hall of Fame badges, you'll find nearly all of them are going to be in shooting, but there are a few defensive ones like Clamps, Intimidator, Off Ball Pest, House Defender, and Trapper. You can see we have Blinders, Circus Threes, Deep Threes, Downhill, and Quick First Step as well, which is going to be awesome. Deadeye, Sniper, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, and you can see what they wanted Morris Peterson to be a shooter. Great gold badges as well to kind of fill out some of the uh, finishing badges that you probably are going to want. Some nice defensive ones and a few playmaking here and there like ankle bracer, ankle breaker. There we go. And unblockable tight handles, things like that. Just to make it a little bit easier uh, for Morris Peterson to have that all around game. Uh, now, I don't think Morris Peterson's going to be like a top tier kind of shooting guard. I'm going to save that for the Billy Owens of the world, but still going to be pretty solid. And without further ado, let's hop right into the freestyle. All right, so here we are with Morris Peterson, and you can see the jumper right now. It's a bit of a uh, an interesting one, I guess we'll say that. Uh, but it's got a pretty quick timing with that very quick. Uh, <laughs> sounds weird. It's pretty quick with that very quick um, jump shot timing. I don't know. It just that feels like such an awkward sentence to say. Uh, but anyway, the jump shot overall with that very quick timing is a pretty fast jumper, and normally I don't think it's that fast. So having that boost is definitely awesome. And with Morris Peterson having some of those gold badges, it's going to be a pretty good slasher. Um, now, the thing that's a little bit tough is that we have, you know, pro ones for our size up. And we do have the slasher dribble style, so everything in there isn't going to be exactly too amazing. But it'll still be solid. The main thing that you're going to have Morris Peterson for is kind of just to be that, I guess, three-point marksman. That whenever you can give him the ball, he is going uh, to knock down the shot. But with that, you're going to have to get used to the jumper a little bit first. You can see... A little bit, little bit, a little bit tough, a little bit tough. Uh, but for the you, everybody else that uses square, it's actually a pretty easy jumper to time. It's just a little bit awkward um, on the shot, so you can see back to back greens with the bite. It's gonna be solid. Um, he does have a bit of a post fade as well, so I will show you guys really quick the post fade there. Beautiful animation, gets a lot of nice space, and you should actually have quite the uh, fun time with that. It's fadeaway three, so the same one that uh, Tracy McGrady and all of them have, which is gonna be pretty fun. Uh, so, without further ado, I do want to utilize that normal leaner on Morris Peterson. Also, nasty little dunk right there. And I'll try to get one more green. And also, I forgot to say, he has the long athlete layup package as well, which is pretty solid. But there we go, our green first try. You'd love to see it. And now let's hop right into the gameplay with Morris Peterson. All right, here we go. Looks like we got Carmelo Anthony, which could be that wonderful dark matter that just dropped. Because I think he is a shooting guard. If I'm not mistaken, which is pretty cool. And we have the PG Opal Chris Webber, which is going to be interesting. And as you would expect, right into the post cheese, as anybody would with the, um, I guess, taller centers. You would expect it. 
it's super cheesy it's super easy to do so that's interesting but we can throw it up to our wonderful man morris peterson and see what he's got going on oh some off ball as well but oh the whites are gonna be tough and our vita sabonis in there at the center position actually is gonna be pretty sweet so we probably could uh get some nice finishes inside <laughs> As I say it, we get the end one right over our Vita Sabonis, and we can check out the quick little free throw for Morris Peterson, which is just free throw one, like as basic as you could get, honestly, which should make it some pretty decent timing. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? Not bad. 92% and it's fallen. And he also, I just realized, Diamond Kawhi and Diamond Arvidas. That's probably why we're going against a team like this. All right, there we go. Good board with Jaron. Oh, Tyrese is snagging it, and we got to wait right there just to make sure nothing crazy happens let's loop around we keep getting like barely open uh but we have some players next to us but we have blinders so you know what let's just chuck it and get the green light six points right there from morris peterson sometimes i forget that we have like one of the most overpowered badges in the game on some cards oh there we go good steal by lamella we got wonderful a little morris peterson out there running interesting behind the back and there we go green light right in the face of Kawhi. it's looking gorgeous for morris peterson right now but i am i'm gonna try to throw on thaddeus young onto this chris weber just to make sure we're good there oh there we go miss on the oop and now tyrese is out running again with mo pete let's get it out to him right there and um, interesting defensive sequence, or I guess strategy, I guess we'll call it that, um, uh, that he's doing right now. Let's get around the screens. There we go. Chris Weber spin. Ooh, oh, getting sent. Gets his own rebound, but yeah. That's not exactly something you want to add to the highlight reel. Let's get him back out. Wait for some of this uh, stamina to go back up. And boom, he's going under the screen again with some off ball. And that's going to be agreed. 12-2 lead is looking great for Morris Peterson. He's kind of got to play some off ball because it's looking tough. All right, now he's got a little bit of full court press going on after hitting some lucky little shots, but it's back up to the Morris Peterson pick and roll. Woohoo! And now our whites are falling, so the luck's falling back, and I guess even we'll call it. Morris Peterson is an absolute demon with that shot, and now we have Sharpshire takeover. It's going to be fun. Oh, there we go. Good steal by Lamella. We got him running out. Arvidas out the way. There's the dunk. 20 and 2 for our man Morris Peterson, breaking us out to a 13 point lead before the end of the quarter. Oh, there's a steal by Jaron Jackson. Let's get it up to him at the last second. And the green by Morris Peterson to give us that 16 beautiful lead going into the second quarter. This card's insane. All right, let's have Morris Peterson just bring it down again. Why not? Terrence Ross's diamond is here and right to the basket for another dunk, man. 25 piece so far for Morris Peterson. It's looking good. And uh, Diamond Tony Parker is not what you want to stop this squad. All right, on top of a load of whites by ourselves and him, but his actually going in. He has caught up a little bit on top of the double teaming Moyers Peterson, but you can see the problem is he's still off balling and just letting him get wide open around these screens. Just not the way to do it, man. Another white is falling. He's not even confident in taking some threes because he knows they're going to be whites and still is hitting them. And we got Morris Peterson just coming out here and cheesing it, man. If he would just miss his whites, this game wouldn't even be close. There we go. Finally missing a white, which is a gorgeous uh, sight to see after the like five straight, I think, that he hit right now. We got Morris Peterson, a sharpshire takeover activated again, and he's still getting left wide open out there. 40 three points for Morris Peterson and now it's back to a little niner nope there we go quick little steal for Ty Reese and then another intentional foul he does not want us to get on the fast break again I don't really blame him but it's a little bit annoying and not being able to do the one thing that's uh, really fun and another foul for Tony Parker my god gotta stop reaching like what is this let's get it in let's toss that up to Morris Peterson to make sure we're over the half court He's got a double team wannabe coming in. Let's wrap around this. Go right to the basket and the dunk for Morris Peterson. 48 points. Two off of that 50 bomb. You love to see it. Full court pressing with Arvidas a bonus of all people. Up oh, and now Jack Marin, which actually makes a little bit more sense, but getting wide open on the break. And oh man, I have not been able to hit any of the whites after his uh, big little spree of them. But there we go. Another quick little green light. 51 points. Nice little offensive rebound. It's still a 14 point lead. Oh, Morris Peterson with the steal right there. We got the fast break. Fake him out and give it to Jaron Jackson for the dunk. 
four and four for Morris Peterson. And I told y'all that he had the one little run where he hit five straight three-point whites and was able to close it in. And once we weathered that storm, it would be easy. Jared Jackson Jr., who is not the card we're talking about. Morris Peterson is actually pretty insane. If you know what you're doing and you can get open three-point shots with this card, you're going to be perfectly fine. The jumper is a little bit awkward. It's a little bit weird, but it's definitely money. And you can seriously hit a good percentage of your shots if you're using it, uh, especially with the square button. I think it's a little bit easier to time it that way than it is with the stick. But whatever you're using, it's still going to be a money card. The defense really didn't feel like it was lacking whatsoever. I think he actually had two steals that game. But the one thing that's a little bit tough is his finishing. Be careful of that. I think a giant slayer would definitely be pretty good. A pro touch would, again, it'd be really, really good. And um, he has still three, which is great. So overall, really good card, really fun card. About 18K is what I picked mine up for. And he was an absolute demon um, that really did everything well. Let me know what you guys think about Morris Peterson down in the comment section below. If you are going to pick a card, I do think you uh, probably should pick up Billy Owen. Link in the description down below. But both are great options. Like the video, comment down below what you guys think, and subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road to 10K subscribers. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next video.